Hello everybody, welcome to my channel, Astro Love Tarot. I hope that you guys are having a fantastic month so far. So this is gonna be a love reading for all of my Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus Libras out there. Libras, let's see what's going on for you guys in regards to your love life. If this reading resonates, that's awesome. But if it doesn't, it just means it wasn't the reading for you. And you can feel free to check out your Moon, Rising, or Venus signs. Um, guys, I just saw a clock. Some of you guys, um, this is really random. Some of you guys could have... Um, bought a clock recently or you could have bought a watch recently or you could have received a gift um a watch recently as a gift i don't know why i just saw a clock and it could also mean time like maybe you feel like you're running out of time or somebody is running out of time with you okay first card we have this nine of pentacles okay you've been focusing a lot on yourself yeah definitely definitely for november we are coming towards the end of november going into december you have been put, putting a lot of focus onto yourself, nurturing yourself, maybe even your career. You've been trying to strive farther into your career, maybe looking for promotion, looking forward into the future. I also see a lot of you guys planning out your future, maybe just planning out trips or planning out um, vacations with friends or um, events even. Like maybe you're some sort of event that you're planning out for a friend. Your friend could be getting married. Somebody's friend I'm seeing is getting married and you could be the... Um, one planning it out. So I see that there. But for a lot of you guys, I just feel like you've been putting a lot of focus on yourself, trying to heal from a past situation for some, but also just living out, trying to live out your best life, just trying to focus on the positive I'm seeing here. Okay. Let's get clarity on this Nine of Pentacles. Ten of Cups. Yeah, Libra. There's some sort of um, happiness that you've been... A, you've been. I feel like you're finally coming into in your life or you're feeling a lot happier coming into December there's a lot of positive focus here on, on family friends just spending time with the family and friends this month I know this is in regards to love I know this is a love reading but I definitely feel like there's a strong emphasis on family and friends you've been spending a lot of time with the people around you I'm also seeing here that you've been um like I said you could have been you could have gone through something really hard in the past and you're just now going to getting through a moment of healing through a moment of um, healing from within yourself so you can prepare for the next relationship or connection that you are going to dive into. I do see that there is, I see in the corner of my eye, like, I feel like there's someone in the corner of your eye that you're kind of looking at, but you're not like, <laughs> like you're not, you're kind of just focused on yourself right now I'm seeing Libra, but there's somebody in the corner of your eye right now. Like you're just kind of like, hmm, I kind of like that person I'm seeing. There's somebody kind of like, you know, catching your attention here I'm, I'm hearing. But you're not kind of, you're kind of just, you're kind of looking away right now. You're not really focusing on it completely. But there is somebody there I'm seeing. Okay. Also, um, children can be involved in this, in the picture here. Um, you, I feel like you are um, getting ready to reach another step. Yeah. Hermit. You could be dealing with a Virgo for some. We also have Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio energy here with the Ten of Cups. Definitely some Virgo energy. You could be a Virgo moon or you could be a Virgo rising as well, Libra, or this person could have Virgo in their chart, but wow. You're definitely like, you've been searching for wisdom at the end of the tunnel. Definitely searching for wisdom, asking for answers from your angels I'm seeing. I feel like you've been asking, I'm hearing why, 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 like, why me? Why does this have to happen? You know, some of you guys are just asking the question, why? Like, why did this have to happen? I feel somebody could have hurt you, Libra. Somebody left you feeling down, sad, and, and it hurt you a lot. It caused you so much pain. And, and you're just going through a moment and a time of healing, time of, um, searching for what it is that you're um, like you're searching for something I'm seeing you're wondering if I'm also hearing you're wondering if this person will ever come back you're wondering if this person will ever message you maybe somebody could have left you on I'm hearing somebody could have left you on red or ghosted you or some sort and it really hurt you because you felt like you had a close connection with whoever this was so you were like you know why like I'm just gonna um I'm just gonna pick up the pieces by myself like I usually do. And Libra, I'm seeing somebody very independent here. You're a very independent person. You're very, um, you're not gonna wait around for people. Like you're gonna, 
you're not going to wait around for people. You're going to do what you got to do for yourself. And you know that like if something's not right, you walk, you're, you're willing to walk away from it. It is hard for you guys though, because I feel that you don't want to walk away. I feel like, but you felt like this person disrespected you and just the way that they, their manners were towards you, maybe the way they came across, they weren't respecting you. And you just, you felt this lack of respect from this person. And so you felt that the need, you had to walk away. You had to do what was best for you. You had to, because you knew you're like, I deserve more than this. I deserve more. And like, this person didn't give me what I deserved. And I, I even though I care and love this person, and I feel that for some, you really adored this person. You felt like your personality clicked really well. And maybe you had a really deep connection. But at the same time, you felt a lack of lack of respect from them. You felt like this person wasn't, um, like they would tell you one thing and do another. They weren't true to their word. And these kind of actions really left you feeling hurt. They left you feeling a bit scarred, honestly. Left you feeling confused even. Like, what did I do wrong? Like, why did I deserve this, you know? And honestly, Libra, you didn't deserve this at all. I think that sometimes things come out into the open for a reason. Like this needed, whatever this, whatever happened with me too, it's like it needed to come out into the open so you could move forward or you could go through this moment of healing or you could discover something new by yourself or something about, or qualities that you really want in a partner, you know? But yeah, that just left you feeling, it wasn't a good feeling. I know that for sure. You're just kind of sitting alone, just kind of, Taking everything in, five of wands, conflict. Okay, I'm gonna get clarity for this five of wands. Kind of clarity for why this five of wands is here. Well, that was easy. Yeah, you guys are feeling a bit like you're keeping your sword up. You kind of, you will, you're kind of, I feel like you might, you're like wanting to break communication here. I mean, you're wanting to start communication with this person. I feel like it might lead to an argument if you do, but I feel that this is like, there's a lot of conflict between this connection, a lot of um, back and forth fighting, like a lot of arguing. And I feel like you keep fighting for this. You've kept fighting and fighting. And it's just like, the more you fought, there's like, you felt like you weren't getting anywhere with this person. You felt like you were having to walk on like eggshells with this person almost. Like, it's just like, you couldn't get your point across. Like no matter how much you kept talking to them, you just felt like you were talking to a wall almost. Like you just like kept saying the same things. Like, I don't like that you do this. I don't like that you do that. And then the person just kept like, they'd say like, oh, I'll work on this. Or they just didn't, and they're like, oh, I'll change for you. I can change for you. And they just, you kept seeing continued actions one after another and no change I'm hearing. And that's making you feel a bit guarded, which is why like you've been focusing on healing yourself, Libra. But you are also feeling a bit guarded. I feel like there's a part of you that really wants to communicate to this person. Some of you guys might break the communication. Maybe after they ghosted you, you might just be like, you know what? Like, I need to get this off my chest. I need to speak to you. I need to tell you how I feel. For others of you, this might this person might be coming to you and trying to start a com communication with you. I feel like there's a lot of people that want to be with you too. Because the five of wands is also about competition for me. There might... I feel like they're... There's a lot of people wanting to pursue you, Libra, but I feel like you're not really batting your eye at them. You're just kind of like ignoring it. But I feel like there's a lot of pursuers here that people that want to speak to you, want to hear from you, want to date you, I'm hearing. Definitely a lot of people want to date you because you definitely are, you're standing out. Honestly, like I said, you are getting into this place of healing, especially in December going in. You are focusing yourself. You're like, you know what? Screw it. I'm going to have the time of my life. I'm not going to let this affect me. Okay, so their feelings, page of pinnacles. <laughs> this person's still, mm, yeah, they're not, they're not done yet. They're not done here. Okay, let's, let's get clarity on why this card is here though. Can I have the page of um, clarity for the page of pinnacles for Libra? Clarity for this page of pinnacles for Libra. Okay, we have seven of cups. Okay, so. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this person over here, they're just, the reason they're not really getting back to you, I'm hearing, um, or they're not really, come, they're not putting their complete focus into you is because they don't really know what they want. They're, conf they're so confused with what they want. It's like, there's a piece of them that wants to give you the world. They, they want to, they want to offer you something. 
stable. They want to offer you something. Um, they want to give you stuff too. They, I feel this person is like, they want to give their heart to this and their possessions I'm hearing as well. Because the Page of Pentacles, it's all about possessions as well. of giving of possessions. But at the same time, I feel the energy here with the Seven of Cups is confusion, not knowing what they want. I feel like this person doesn't really know what they want. They don't know what they want of a partnership. They don't really know if they want a relationship or if they want something casual. I feel like there's a piece of them that like you opened up within them, Libra, though, that they're just kind of like, with this Page of Pentacles being here, you opened up this part of them that's it's like they want to like give to you. Like they do want to give you. Like it's not like they just want to accept. They also want to give to you. But there's like a part of them that it's just they just don't know what they want. They just they it's like they they want this, but then it's like but at the same time there's like a part of them that's like, do I want this though or do I not want this? Because and so it just comes across as like not really knowing what they want, even though they, it's like there's a part of them that really does want to give to you. There's a part of them that also knows you deserve better. And so I feel like sometimes they back away because they're like, they're like, well, you know, like I'm putting Libra through all this. You know, they know what they're doing, too. They're like, I've been putting Libra through all this, you know, these emotions and I'm telling Libra all these things. And I feel like in the moment they're genuine with their feelings. But the thing is, like, they're genuine with their feelings towards you, Libra. Like they, they do, they do like, whenever they say things like, I do want to date you, I do want this. I feel like they do in the moment they are saying that, like in the moment they do mean it, but then they actually, they, they go back and they think about it and they're like, do I really want this? It's because they're stuck in this mindset, like where they don't want a relationship. Like, it's like, they've made up their mind. Like, I don't want a relationship. But when since they met you, they're just like, dang it, like Libra just makes me want a relationship with them. Like, I feel like I want to be in a relationship with Libra. But then they're like stubborn about it. Like, no, I can't be in a relationship because I decided I don't want this. So it's like, it's almost like make up your mind, you know, like they can't make up their mind of what they really want to do here. And it's like, they're kind of putting themselves in a bad situation because they're, they're hindering, they're like, stopping themselves from being happy like I feel like they could truly be happy with you but they're stopping themselves from it they're stopping their own happiness because they're stubborn with what they want seven of wands obstacles here four of cups five of cups oh uh, yeah this person's definitely disappointed they're coming across as they feel like there's too much obstacles here. They feel like there's too, it's like they can't get around to you. I think maybe because like for some, you could have just stopped communicating to this person. Like I said, you completely stopped communication. If this person tried, maybe like it could have happened where they ghosted you and you're like, when is this person going to message you back? But then they message you and you ghosted them and they're like, wait a second. Now, like I lost Libra. Others of you, it's like, they're just acting like unavailable. They're coming across as unavailable here. They're coming across like they're just disappointed. They're disappointed. I feel like they're not happy with themselves right now. They don't feel like they... I feel like this person knows you deserve better. And it's almost like they're trying to take themselves out of the picture here. Because they know that. They know that you deserve a lot. And they're trying to take themselves out of the picture because they're like, Libra deserves better than me. It's like this insecurity that they have from within themselves. And that's why they're coming across is like they're flaky and they're coming they're coming across as flaky, unavailable, um, kind of unemotional too, in a way. Like they just like you're like, do you have emotion for me? Like, is this even real? Or did, was any of this real? Like, did you feel anything? Because I feel like there was a connection at one point. But it's like almost that like, situation is like, did it was this even real? Or are you just faking it the whole time? Like what? It's not fair. And I feel like a lot of you Libras, you're like, you're upset. You're like, why? Like, why did I put myself through this again? And like this person over here, they're just thinking like they're not happy with themselves in here. And that's really sad. I'm like, I feel this person's truly not happy right now. They're not in a place where they feel like they can give their all to somebody. And but there's like still that piece of them that wants to. There's still that piece of them that feels like they can't. Can I have clarity for this Five of Cups and this Four of Cups? Why is this Four of Cups and Five of Cups here? I'm seeing somebody practicing yoga. Like some of you guys can really enjoy the practice of yoga. Or you could be a yoga instructor or a fitness instructor of some sort. I'm also seeing dancing. Like some of you guys really enjoy dancing. Like you like to go out on the weekend. 
queen of wands. Okay, this person's definitely, um, they can have fire in their chart. They do have passion for you. They, they feel very passionate about um, you too. But they're, they know that, um, they feel like, even though they're passionate towards you, even though they show this, even though they feel this way towards you, they just feel like at the end of the day, they're just gonna get, they're just gonna get their heart broken. They feel at the end of the day, that you're just going to end up breaking their heart and they don't want that. They're scared that they're going to become heartbroken in this connection if they truly commit. It's like they have trouble committing. They have commitment issues. They don't want to, they don't want to feel hurt again. I think somebody from their past, a fire sign from their past, could have been Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries that they dated in the past, made them feel this way, made them feel like they weren't worthy of a partnership. And that's really sad, honestly. This person's like, they're trying to like, they're at a battle within their own head. They feel like they're just making, they're building obstacles that aren't even there, honestly. They're making things out of something that isn't there. And it's just, they're kind of like choosing to do that. It's like, it's, it's like they're fighting their feelings for you. At the end of the day, it's like, Libra, you're like, I can't put up with this anymore. I have to, I have to move on as hard as this is. And I feel like you are like, I feel like you are moving on from this. I feel that you are, um, you, you realize there's all these obstacles. You realize that this person isn't giving you what you deserve. And you are like, I feel like you are a little bit closed off right now to other people. You do have your sword up here, but I feel like for, you have it out for good reason. Cause you just don't, you don't want to be betrayed or you don't want to feel, you don't want to feel stupid. And Libra, you're not stupid. I'm just going to say that right now. For some of you guys, you're like, oh, I'm so stupid. Why I fell for this? You're not stupid. You have a big heart and you gave your heart to somebody and you trusted somebody. And that's honestly, sometimes that's the hardest thing you can do. And that's to give your heart to somebody. You did something that was very, it's very difficult for so many people to do. And you did that. And honestly, like, that took courage, that took bravery, and you're strong, you know, and you are gonna get through this. You're not stupid for giving your, you're not stupid for giving this a true chance. You wanted to give this a true chance because how can you make it work if you never gave it a chance, you know? You never know until you give it a true chance and you gave that a true chance, you know? So, but I do feel like there is definitely, with this 10 of cups here, some happiness coming your way. Just know that there are good things to come. There are positivity coming your way. But yeah, guys, that's all that I have for this reading. So thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you guys next time. So thank you guys so much. Bye.